today we will continue with the same chapter chapter number 10 reaching the age of adolescence now we'll proceed with the next topic that is secondary sexual characteristics what are secondary sexual characteristic exactly as we have studied previously the topics we can say that such the developments of the features which differentiates a boy and a girl a male and a female that means development in girls breast mustaches and beards in boys begins to develop these are the characteristics which helps in distinguishing them as males and females and these are called as secondary sexual characteristics here the chart is given you can see on the screen you will just have to make this chart in your copy also next is your the hormones that are con that control the changes that occurs at the adolescence the male hormone called the testosterone is secreted by the testes and on the onset of puberty and causes development of facial hairs chest hair etc at the onset of the puberty in girls ovary secretes female hormone that is known as estrogen which makes the breast develop and the mammary glands this secretion is under the pituitary endocrine gland here is a picture given the different types of endocrine glands this complete makes a endocrine system next the male hormones as you can see in the picture testosterone begins to release by the testes at the onset of puberty and these causes this type of changes in a body of a male the picture is given along with the influence you have to just write it down and during the puberty in girls when the ovaries are completely developed these are the function of estrogen the hormone which is getting released and how it is helping out now the production of all these hormones is under the control of another main hormone that is secreted from the endocrine gland and that is called as pituitary gland you can see the brain the lower part of the brain is a p shaped gland p just like a p shape it is called as pituitary gland which is releasing the hormones directly into the blood vessels as you can see and that are moving to the different the organs endocrine glands releases hormones into the blood stream to reach a particular body part called the target site you can see target site these are called target sites okay these target site responds to the hormones and there are many endocrine gland glands or ductless glands in our body in such types now hormones from the pituitary it is just a flow chart hormones from the pituitary stimulate testes and ovaries to release testosterone in males and estrogen in females then it goes into the releases into the blood stream and reaches to the part of the target site where it has to move go and finally stimulates changes in the body at the onset of puberty and you are at the age of puberty now next reproductive phases of human means humans in a life in females the reproductive phase of life begins at puberty and generally lasts till the age of 45 to 50 years this is the phase which is much longer in males in comparison to the females because the ova matures and releases released by one of the ovaries once in about 28 to 30 days every month during these periods the wall of the uterus become thick so as to receive the egg in case if it is not fertilized it starts it and uh, if in case it is fertilized it begins to develop into a new individual and if it doesn't then it erodes away the uterine wall in females prepare itself to receive and develop fertilized egg in such cases there is no fertilization then the thickening lining of the uterine wall breaks down and undergoes out along with the blood stream and this reproductive phase varies in human life especially in women's menarche starts from beginning of the puberty that is 11 12 years menstruation 12 years it begins to 50 years and in some if of them due to the genetical issues 45 and menopause means the stoppage of menses in 50 years or 45 or uh, or some people they also die according to that coming to that age group the definitions are given here menarche a women's first menstruation typically occurs around at the age of 
occurrence completely depends on the overall health and the diet of a person menopause end of a human's reproductive phase com- commonly occurs between the age of 45 to 55 and at the age of menopause is largely the result of the genetics now inside the fertilized egg or a zygote is the instruction of for determining the sex of the baby the instruction is present in the thread like structures as we have studied earlier in previous chapter there is are called as chromosomes in the fertilized eggs you can see the picture an egg fertilized egg from an woman and a fertilized sperm from a man these are in 23 23 pairs then they become 23 pairs togetherly and they form after fertilization a zygote and finally the zygote develops into an embryo so the, these all for today's class in the next class we will move with move on with the sex chromosomes and how they are reasoning out telling out about the boy and a girl child thank you